Before broadband, before smartphones, Britons booted up a revolution in 8 bits. In classrooms and bedrooms, these machines sparked imaginations and launched careers. Let's rewind to the golden age of UK microcomputers, where tape decks whirred, screens flickered, the coding always included 20 go to 10. Dragon 32, 1982. Made in Wales, the Dragon 32 had a loyal following and was praised for its powerful CPU and solid basic implementation. It was less successful commercially, but holds nostalgic value for many in the UK. Amstrad CPC 464, 1984. The Amstrad entered late, but bundled a full keyboard, monitor, and cassette deck all in one unit. It was user friendly, affordable, and had strong software support. BBC Micro 1981. Commissioned by the BBC for its computer literacy project, the BBC Micro became the backbone of UK school computing. It featured BBC Basic, robust build quality, and expandability. Commodore 64. 1982. Although American made, the C64 had a strong UK presence thanks to its superior sound chip, vibrant game scene and robust hardware. ZX Spectrum 1982. Affordable, compact and wildly popular, the Spectrum brought colour graphics and a huge library of games to British homes. Its rubber keyboard and tape loading sounds became iconic. From pixelated screens to cassette words, these machines weren't just computers, they were portals to imagination. Whether you typed in your first line of BASIC or loaded Jet Set Willy from tape, the 8-bit era lives on in every keystroke. Which one did you grow up with? Leave a comment and subscribe for more.